Wait, they used to give condoms as pre-order bonuses? Ah, the pre-order bonus. The gaming industry's favorite way to take your money without having to do the whole make a good game thing. And nowadays, unfortunately, we don't really see much in the way of traditional pre-orders. I mean, yeah, it was inconvenient to go in person, but waiting in line for the new Call of Duty was a really cool experience as a kid. As a 12-year-old, there was nothing cooler than staying up past your bedtime. Except filling your arms up with silly bands. That was pretty cool too. Pre-order bonuses are usually just fun collector's items, like a coin or a pin, but sometimes they could get weird. Like, really weird. Infamous Second Son's GameStop pre-order pack included two Red Bulls, which is pretty normal, right? I mean, besides skipping showers, energy drinks are really the fastest way of becoming a pro gamer. You want to know what else it comes with? Glow-in-the-dark condoms, which honestly, pretty sick. Personally, I'd never use them because they're cool collector's items and I don't want to waste them because I, I could use them if I wanted to. I was pretty skeptical about the whole thing, so I went down a rabbit hole trying to find a video proving their existence. And the closest thing I could find was this video showing a pre-order pack being opened, but they only showed the Red Bulls. There's a serious lack of latex. Some people say it's real, some people say it isn't, I don't know. I'm just curious about the glow-in-the-dark part, like, do you think it's like the cheap glow-in-the-dark things where you have to you have to blast it with light to charge it? Like just sitting in the bathroom with a mag light, just blasting yourself? ONE SECOND OF CHARGING! But you might be surprised to hear that Second Son wasn't the only game to have promotional condoms, or even the first game to have them. In 2004, a Halo 2 event gifted attendees with themed condoms in the spirit of keeping multiplayer fun and safe. You can find a couple pictures of them online. It's believed that there's at least two still in existence in the hands of private collectors, uh, hopefully new in box. The strategy with these was clearly to make the promo item just as weird as possible so people talk about it online. But what about the pre-order items that aren't necessarily as weird as they are just confusing? Assassin's Creed Black Flag, a game about battling for control of the seven seas, engaging in stealth combat, and the deadly struggle against scurvy. Not quite sure a branded football was the right way to go. I'm not sure what they were really going for here. Like, is it supposed to look like a cannonball? Or is it because the buccaneers exist? I feel like we could have got something so much cooler. Like a pirate hat, or a sword, or like a peg leg or something. I don't know, a football just feels so random. Just like the Amazon bonus for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna go on record here with an extremely ice cold take. Breath of the Wild was one of the best games of all time, and Tears of the Kingdom is right up there along with it. Now take that and pair it with the Zelda franchise being one of the biggest gaming fandoms, with some of the strongest, most devoted fans. You'd think they'd release an absolute banger for one of the most anticipated sequels of all time. The Amazon exclusive for pre-ordering the game through them was a special edition Legend of Zelda Spoon. Which if I'm being honest, I, I wouldn't mind having. <laughs> At the very least, it's something you'll use instead of having something that sits on your desk for a couple years and then ends up in a landfill. So I'm kind of okay with this one, actually. And at the very least, it was better than the luggage tags that Walmart was giving out. Thumb Wrestling Federation. Do you guys remember this show? They would run as little five minute episodes in between the real programs. I never really paid attention to them as a kid, but for some reason, this show has been burned into my subconscious. I rewatched an episode while writing this video and, and trust me, that is a show I'm fine leaving in the past. The reason I bring up the show is the ad campaign for Super Street Fighter 4, which showed off the pre-order bonus, the Super Thumb Fighters, which was basically just a chopped up glove with the fighters' faces pasted on them. I remember seeing other thumb wrestling products and commercials and stuff when I was a kid, so it must have been kind of successful, I guess. It was just a very different, very confusing time. You guys ever just sit there and think like, I wonder what Mario smells like. If you pre-ordered Mario Odyssey in Canada, you're one of the few people that are blessed enough to know what he smells like. I just want to know what it smells like. Italian man, mushrooms, sweat, septic tanks. I had a lot of fun researching this video. Like, it was really cool to go back and see how unique some of these pre-order bonuses were. Even if they had nothing to do with the game, it's still really cool that they give you a little something for having faith in their project. And while pre-order bonuses are still alive, I guess I just miss all the hype and the excitement that midnight launches used to bring. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Take care.